So greetings, ladies and gentle players. We are here looking at a wonderful game between Park Chung Wan, who is number one in the world currently. It, one and two don't mean anything. They're like 10, 20 points apart. One and two keep squishing back and forth uh, at the moment. So time of recording, he is currently number one. Next week, he might be number two and then number one again. They keep going back and forth. But yes, we have current number one versus former number one. Former number one being Yi Cheng Ho. He, as I'm sure most of you know, and if you don't, shame on you. Good old Yi Cheng Ho was on tip top of the go world for like over 10 years. Back in a very different, different era. Ooh, such a different era back then. Ah, different Chiseki, different priorities, different direction of play. It's actually crazy how much it's changed between then and now. All things considered, it really is. But yes, we have a game between these two players, because they played in the 2019 Korean League Round 9, whatever that is. I don't care where they played, I just like that they did play, because it gives us something to look at. Park Chung Wan opens up 4-4 point, and Lee Chang Ho does not open up in the upper left-hand corner. He does not want a diagonal against this player, apparently. The age where Li Cheng Ho would allow you to play whatever you want, open however you want, and still, and still, you would lose against him. Yeah, it's gone. He has, be he has become a bit more aggressive now. Good old Stone Buddha has had to make changes to his play. 3-4 from Park, and double 4-4 four, four from White, which anytime I see double 4-4 four, four from White, I'm thinking to myself, that guy's brave, because you know it's coming next. You know it's coming next. Your 4-4 four, four is going to get stolen, or your 3-3 three, three is going to get stolen, sorry. It's just a matter of time. One of these corners will be hit with a 3-3 three, three invasion. At that point, you'll have to make a huge decision. Like, if this corner's gone, and this corner is for black, and you don't invade here, well, then you can already mean, you can already see the problem, right? It's like three on one. Corner, 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 versus corner, and, you know, some influence. That's tough, man. That's tough. Well, what's Lee gonna do? When his corner's stolen, is he gonna counter? Is he gonna counter and steal a corner back? Let's wait and find out. This is an enclosure. He's going towards uh, more of the bleep bloopy stuff good old Park is, so we know. We know a 3-3 invasion's on deck. Nice call move from White. I like it. I do like it. But... You know what's next. You know what's next. Don't even try to tell you don't. 3-3 invasion, obviously. Alright. There it is. Now... Big decisions must be made. Block an A or B. Can chat tell me how do we decide how to block between A and B? How do we decide? It's a head scratcher. It's a head scratcher. What are we going to do? Doesn't matter anymore? <laughs> Kind of does. It kind of depends on what Jaseki you intend to respond with when you block. I believe in B. Yeah, I believe in B too. Don't put all eggs in one basket, block B. Yeah, I believe in B. I'm, I'm very much in the camp of, you know, it's probably good to, it's probably good to do B. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. Your basic series tells me so. Yeah, that too. That too. I will admit that too. That is a thing. So here's the here's the thing. Hypothetically, let's say we block here. What what is this going to say? Well, we're developing a wall, and this wall is trying to face this area. Now here's the problem that we have inherent to this position. Are we going to get Sente to play this point? Not this way we won't. Not this way we won't. We could do it by playing here and now taking this. But there are multiple problems with this position. One, as I've mentioned in my basic series, this is a three stone wall. 
And the three stone wall is now a little bit too far with the extension. And greetings to I'm just Sam234. So yeah, now we're extending. That's a problem. We're overextended. Which means black can play here and live. Why not? It's overextension. Can do. So some people might say, well, then I'm not going to extend that far. I'm going to extend like over to here instead. But then that just makes this one even easier to live with. So it's a head scratcher to find like a really good position here to get wall and extend from wall. So it's a head scratcher. It's a head scratcher. And of course, it I, I don't want to have to mention this, but I will. Going ahead and just blocking old school. We lose Sente, and then we get split. Now we obviously can't use extension from wall because our opponent's taking it. So that's no good. That's no good. Uh, could do this one. I have seen this one uh, repeatedly. Right? But this way would not be good because this is now a forcing move. Still hard to use. Still hard to use. I think if you were going to double accept double Hane, you'd want to block the other way. You'd want to go here. Sad. Into something like this one. But the problem is if you play this way, I just went over this in study group, and that will be uploaded later on for my patrons. And this is inherently risky too. Hard to do, hard to do. How are you? I'm okay. Just going over a professional game there. I'm just saying. And greetings, Lyra, 28-month resub. Also, sorry, I forgot to actually thank you, Yuffington, thank you as well, for 28-month resub. Much appreciated. This is actual game. This I kind of show as normal, a bit easier to use. Because at the very least, you could do something up here, not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's still tough to use, but all 3-3 three, three variations are kind of tough to use. What can I say? That's just kind of how that goes. In this game, Park Chung Wan offered an insanely complicated variation that White backs off of. The insanely complicated variation would be this one. This one goes crazy. The second view from this one, uh, that would be its own lecture. That would really be its own lecture. Because this one goes crazy. The variations that we're seeing lately from this one, it's essentially, it's... For, for most players, just assume that if you play this way, you're, you might as well also be playing the Taisha. Because it's a Jaseki that's going to be taking up like a fourth of the board. One person who makes a mistake is going to die. Like immediately. There's a whole bunch of different variations involved. There are some Wicked Co. that I've uh, seen lately as well. It's, yeah, it, it's nuts. It's nuts. So White backs off and says, I ain't, I ain't doing the nuts. Now, this is what I was referring to earlier. With the eggies in one basket kind of thing. I will say that this is now technically a four-line wall-ish. So one, two, three, four. We're still too far away, admittedly. Still too far, admittedly. But, you know, we have a larger wall, and we could make it larger again. So even though I understand how dangerous this could be, I like it. I like it. Lee Chang Ho's trying to keep things simple. I like it. I, I do like. Yeah, size of all plus one. So, okay. Now, here's the question. What are large... Where? Sorry, not what. Where are large moves for black right now? Who can show me the large moves? There are... One, two... There's not many. There's like three or four. 
3, C3, no, R10, R. Same, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. A G4, R14. Okay, so of these, so let's go and switch colors to red. Of these, here are the ones that I do not like. I do not like the 3-3 because it's way too early for that given the enclosure. If the enclosure was not here, I would... I would have to fill this with something stronger and say, yeah, technically that's a fine move. But there's an enclosure there, so we're not going to do it. I don't like either of these either. Be, You'll see why in a minute. Nor do I like this one. Only one that I really like is here. I would have also maybe accepted this one. Just consider invasion. I think considering to invade might be a good idea. Uh, I think G is possible too. But I don't like A, E, and C right now. And here's why I don't like A, E, and C. This is Black's move. But here's why I don't like A, E, and C. With Black's move, we can see what, what the attempt is here, right? Black is threatening to grow and lean on white, right? So we're kind of going all the way over to here and like building a huge wall that's going to be like blah, influence. Just like shooting it everywhere, right? He's just shooting his influence all just all over the board. That's that's cool. We're expanding. We're expanding. If we do not expand, then white gets to expand while approaching. That right there feels like a very, very different game. White being able to further expand on his uh, framework, getting potentially what we consider now to be a double wing formation, right? If we just play it here. Right, enclosure, plus extend, extend. Limiting Black's framework. It's doing a lot. It's doing a lot, right? It's just doing a lot. And we lose the opportunity to expand and be expanded upon instead if we take a move on the right like that. So I don't like this. I think they're a little bit slow. I think they're a little bit slow. So we got this one. And now this one is weird because shoulder hits are very, very standard right now. And I guess if you go into the whole like bot thing nowadays, you're not going to respond to the shoulder hit. So another basic thing that we're kind of not really seeing too much of anymore. That guy down there. We're not going to respond to that. Instead, we're going to approach if we're going to uh, go with like the cool bot moves nowadays. It's just, it's just too slow. It's just too slow. Can't let black expand, so you've got to counter by stepping on in there. But Li Cheng Ho's a bit little old timey. Pincering shoulder hits. Yeah, you gotta. Can't let yourself get expanded upon. It's just, it's just how it is. So instead. White's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm being shoulder hit, okay? I'm gonna respond to it. I don't care. Black gets the enclose. White has to do something down here now. Instead, he doesn't and just keeps expanding. So I, I can respect this. He's trying to go framework v framework right now. It's, it's, it's very cool. There's only one problem with this. You can't play this way. You can't. What's Black's next move? What's Black's next move? Everyone should get it. No one should get this wrong. No one should get this wrong. Don't you dare get this wrong. Okay, everyone's getting it wrong. <laughs> okay, everyone's getting it wrong. Holy Christ. I said it's a framework versus framework game. Right? So the problem is, 
you can't keep expanding while black's expanding because black is quite literally going for more. You can't keep doing this, right? It's too much. You can't let your opponent get this. You can't. It, it's too good. And again, this would be a good time to attack. Just attack hard. But again, Li Cheng Ho is nice and solid. I love his game. Sometimes he can play solid games against like the new stuff and they look brilliant. It's hard to do that against uh, Park Chung Wan. I don't want to say these moves are bad. I'm just saying that Park is going to take every scrap of Aji you give him and just squeeze all of it out. Just all of it. All of it, all of it, all of it forever. That's why he's number one, man. That's why he's number one. So, again, A would probably be preferred here. But, black might play something more calm. Black is going to play light to ensure that if he can't grow the bottom, then it's going to be hard for white to grow the left-hand side. Okay, then. This makes sense. No leaning on the corner, because if we played anywhere else as white, like, huge move, like T19. Then you've got, like, potential here, right? And then suddenly this is just, what, an actual full-on base? Maybe later on we actually get points here? I mean, that's crazy. That's craziness, yo. It's craziness. So, no no leany, no leany, basey, basey stuff here. Black's just getting shape. And now, to understand why Black is willing to just get shape here, we have to talk a little bit about points. <sighs> I don't want to, but we got to. Hypothetically, how many points does our opponent have? La la la. Don't get me wrong, this is this is big. We've got like... I'm just going to say 26 points in the bottom left because of Komi. Uh, what is this going to be? I don't, I don't even know. Can this, can this be some points? Probably. Like, we get 6 here? We could probably get 6 points here, right? I would, I would assume. So like 32, maybe-ish? We don't really know where the points are here yet, do we? We don't, we don't really know. We don't really know. So this is just a game of math. If, imagine real quick, ignore this move real fast. Imagine real quick this board. With one simple move, black can have this. That's 11 there. Plus two corners. If he gets, like, I don't know, 15 and 10 here. It's not bad. Plus he's got like influence. Going in here and like something in here. This is a winning, this is, this is a really good position for black. All he has to do is make shape. He's got potentially three corners. If he makes shape in the middle, then white has one corner and a little bit of center. Where black's going to have three corners and a little bit of center. You, you can see how this is smiley for uh, white, as or for black, sorry, as long as we don't forget to actually make shape here. If we didn't and we were like, um, I'm going to connect here real quick. And then maybe instead white gets to like attack and profit off of here, then that could be bad. That That could get bad pretty quickly if we have to like just keep running away here. We're going to be screwed. Heavy shape, and we're going to profit. This is one of the mistakes that I see a lot of people playing uh, the 3-3 three, three stuff at the key, at the amateur level. Cough, cough, games you've been sending me in. I've been making. They give the influence away because they did the 3-3, three, three, and then they have a weak group that they didn't get shape for, and they get pushed around, so the influence explodes, and the game crashes almost, almost immediately. Like, if you're going to do the 3-3 three, three and give away the influence, you can't then also give a target on your back to your opponent. Right? 
So cool. He's like, he's going up to shape. Makes sense. Trying to get some stuff. Look how he's even attaching. Because he just wants freaking shape, man. He does not want to be attacked. He does not want this to start making even more than this by harassing here. So we have shape, shape, shape. And now we've got, finally, the approach. The approach is really good because A is enormous. But unfortunately, so is B for black if we have the right-hand side. Like, we don't want to just build up to nowhere because the cap is Gote right now, right? If we play a move at B, White can full-on ignore it and just, like, play a move at C. And we know he can do that because this already has a base. It can go under here. It can go back here. It can go up here. Like, it, it can go everywhere. So the cap would be Gote at the moment. So, Black says, boink. Now the cap is huge. Now that cap is enormous. Because you can't turn around and just like split the right hand side because we just extended from it. I'm going to say something now and no one's going to like it. White attempts to disrupt the black shape. Some kind of jump up here is probably better. Because after this Hane, it is clear white is falling behind in the game. Black settles way too easily with easy shape points. And now we don't really know what to do. Actually, we do know what to do. We, we don't ever let black get a move here because that would be... An insane area. White would be, Black would be very, very, very happy about this area. He'd be smiling. Pushes. Still got good shape. Tries, tries to get in. But Black's immediately locking out that territory. Looks like black has more stones on the board than white. Because a lot of blacks are, or a lot of whites are uh, more concentrated in an area. Mm -hmm. Like right now, he made himself shape. And unfortunately, because Park has been playing against AI for so long, he knows not to respond to that clamp. Like he's got shape and he's out. Therefore, white's clamp was not, not important. So he's just going to ignore him. And White is just now going to be behind for the rest of the game. This exchange tried to attack a group that he could not attack. Gave up Sente to attack the group that cannot be attacked. Thus allowing Black to just take the points. Just take the points and win games. So the question now is how does this... Oh, by the way, this has been like a theme this week. I've seen a lot of games where a player just gets ahead and just stays there. It's like, well, I've got the corners. I, I invaded you. I took my enclosures, your influence couldn't do anything, and then you did, you did, 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 did. Gotta be careful. More and more, I'm seeing games where, you know, more and more, I'm seeing games where if you're invaded on the 3 3 point, you really gotta do it in exchange. You, got, you gotta do it back. It's too painful if you don't, man. It's too painful if you don't. Double 3 4 is white. That could be a thing. That could surely be a thing. Mm -hmm. White knows this is insane. 
White knows this is this is just absolutely crazy. He cannot allow this. He cannot allow this. So he's got Samaji here. He's got the clamp. White takes, trying to destabilize. Black's like, lol, you can't attack me there. Looking for Samaji. Black says there's no Aji. It's like, but what about your shape? You're not alive here! Surely, surely there's something I can do. Think about that change of pace, by the way. Think about how, think about where we've come now. Look, this is Li Chang Ho trying to figure out how to attack his opponent for profit. That's not what he was known for. No, black, black, blacks. Over. This is white. This is black. But yeah, he's trying to poke, trying to poke, trying to poke. It's like, okay, maybe I can make all this a thing. Meh. Meh. And you can see he's really trying to squeeze points out of the black group. But black is out, so he knows that he will not be dying here anytime today. He knows he will not be dying here anytime today. Threatens an eye, both here and here. Denies the eye. Can I go in your corner? Picking up them eyes. And he's out. Cool. But he does have his eye. He does have his eye. He does. He's got he's got an eye. He can play here. Into the connection. He has got one eye. So, question now is what is White gonna try to do? Well, White's gonna try to follow it. So he attacks. And Black's only consideration is this insane amount of territory that he's got rocking here. Like how much how many points is this? How many points is this? He's got like 30 points on the right-hand side, right? Another batch over there. And there's still this area and this area. Black's happy. Black's a happy person. Because he knows all he has to do is not die. And he's in a, he's in a winning position. Just don't die, forehead. And keep in mind, th this area is undercut. We don't know how much white has because this area is undercut. And we've got no time to defend it. Absolutely no time to defend it. If we defend it, it's Gote. We're just going to get locked out of the right-hand side. We'll probably be losing by like 40 points plus. Stupid 3-3 invasions, man. Freaking hate them. Freaking hate them. Trying to keep pressure on the middle. Black's just like, yeah, all right. Uh-huh, I'll take more points. I'll just take more points. What was that? Another five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe plus the Hane. Five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, ten. Jesus Christ. It's just, this is this is brutal. This is just brutal. Falls back. To be fair, to be fair, white isn't that far down. Throughout this entire game, White is usually no more than about 16 to 20 points. But especially at the professional level, that's a huge amount to be down. Like when you're playing against the number one player in the world, 16 to 20 points, that is a gap that he's not going to let you close. Never, 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 never. You are not closing that. So we're jumping away. Now there's more threats. So he defends. 
painful, painful, painful move. But what are you going to do if you don't play it? What are you going to do? Are you going to keep building? Are you going to keep building and then watch this, this vanish? I mean, come on, get real. You, you, can't, you can't just build this area up. Right? You can't build this up. You can't build this up. So, alright, he drops down. <sighs> but... Where are my Dons at? You're getting the next move, correct. I bet some pretty good keys are getting it right, too. I believe in y'all. Flex your directional skills. Flex your directional skills. Black to move. Next move. Where is it? 017. Uh, situation's quite simple. Black to move. White just played here. Man, people wonder why I focus on directional play so often in my basic games. Uh, Payson, he does keep switching between him and Shin Jin So. He hasn't been consistently number one, but he keeps switching back and forth between there. Those two keep going back and forth, yeah. Oh, did someone say it? Yes, Esalon. Very simple. Just turn. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eighth line? So, so oh, oh, sorry, did Pickard say it? Oh, Pickard said it literally just before you did. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickard, yeah, Pickard, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Pickard got it too. More impressive for Pickard because Pickard is like, um, uh, I forgot what rank Pickard is. What rank are you, Pickard? Mr. John Luck Pickard is Tudon. Okay. Now you're confused? Why are you confused? I thought it looked good, but you suck at direction of play. No, this is good. You're preventing white <clears throat> from, like, continuing to expand, right? You're preventing this kind of dealio? This is a huge turn. Huge turn. So, yeah, this turn, ooh. Ooh, it's big. Ooh, it's big. Because the entire right-hand side is just stupidly huge at this point. Like, on, on just, like, a silly scale. White tries for endgame. Black's like, snore. Ugh. Makes the cut. Black doesn't care. I mean, White knows he's, there's nothing he's doing. He's like trying to find a couple of ways to squeeze a couple of extra points from his opponent. His opponent just ain't having it. He is not caring the slightest. He's always got his eye on the next biggest move. And the biggest move right now is not in that corner. So he is just taking the next one over and over again. Surprises me here, though, is I would absolutely, in a, a regular game, defend here. I would be like, gotta be in a good position right now this game, right? Let's just defend. There's no reason to fight. White's like, yeah, okay. or Black's like, yeah, okay, we can, we can have a co. Sure. Why not? If I win the co and play here, however, all this is dead. But sure. Atari. Can I come into your area? Denied. Can I kill you? Denied. Can I capture your stones? Denied. Can I poke out your eyes? But yeah, this area here, it's, it's, if he connects, he's screwed. So this area was a freaking co. Like why, why two co at once? I don't understand. Why would you let this be a thing?
Why would you go here if you knew there was a co here that you couldn't, that, that you could, ah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like that has to be ignored. So that gets taken. So this has to be defended. Now to be fair, oh, sorry, I missed a move. I'm an imbecile. I'm an imbecile. That was played before we went to Co. Obviously. I completely skipped it. I forgot to play it. Don't worry about it. There we go. So now we defend. White's coming out. And that right there. That. Oh my god, that. Not only is Black trying to win the game, He's trying to tattoo his name on his opponent's forehead. If that lives, white has no territory. How do we defend, chat? You said you have two basic choices. You can jump, or you can jump. Which side do we jump in? Or you could try something snazzy. There's jump, jump, and snazzy. Which one are you going for? Why are we going for B? Why, why this one? Zealousy, I think you're 21 month resub. Much appreciated. That's what that's Indeed. Because this is the weaker side. Absolutely. That's what we defend first. Yep. And then Black says, You better defend or I'm going after my stones. White admittedly has an interesting idea here. You can kind of see it. He's got his eye on the top of the board now. Because he's got like the cross cut here. Into maybe a cap to build the top of the board. It's okay. White's well, at some points. Black says, but what about your group? White says I'm fine. Six by six extension can't kill me. Black says, oh really? White says, maybe? Black says, oh really? White says, I think so. To which Black says, oh really? This, this is turning into a problem. Cuts. Okay. Defense. Not okay anymore. Now, this is something we can't play. Like, yeah. Problems, right? Wah, 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 wah. When those are dead, that's a problem. So we Atari, not that way. We Atari this way. Black goes for the kill. White takes. Black says, you're not taking my top stones. Hane, nope, not putting the Atari in. Take, not going anywhere there either. And now there's nowhere else to go. Middle's dead. White resigns. So, sadly, this game was a really, really awkward spot from pretty much uh, this area here. After we tried to attack the group that couldn't be killed, suddenly Black just shoots off for his win. It's like, oh, that's only two stones. I don't really care. I'm going to reinforce myself, take my points, and just go for the goal. And at that point, White was never able to come back into a leading position. Never, 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 never. Crazy, crazy game from good old Lee Chang Ho and Park Chung Wan.
But yes, that, that is modern Go right now. That is modern Go. And to be fair, I don't know how I'd open differently as white. This is, this is, uh... That this is one of those tough ones for me. Getting your 3-3 three, three 